Hey everyone, welcome back and welcome to a very, very fun game that you're gonna love. It's called Bear and Breakfast. You may have heard about it, it's kind of popular, I think, at the moment. And uh, I've had my eye on it since your trace from our first showed me a little trailer and I was like you make you run a, a bread and a, a bread a bed bed and breakfast and you're a bear I'm sold oh yeah and I've been playing it for a little bit um because I just got it just wanted to see how the game works before I recorded and it's got a lot of dialogue in it so I'm gonna be reading the dialogue like this uh, if the characters on the left side you're gonna hear it over here and if a character on the right is talking, you're going to hear it over here. So for those of you who really like reading kind of videos where I talk a lot, you're going to love it. This is the game I was just doing. Let's make a new save. Why can't I ever fall asleep on time? I'm going to be so tired tomorrow. Mom's going to kill me. Hank's hands got very cold all of a sudden. His forehead felt heavy with a crushing pressure. A dark figure with glowing eyes stared from far away. Weathered stones and dry wood surrounded it. Suddenly, a blinding jolt of lightning illuminated the sky. Thunder cracked. A shriek pierced the air. There was no one there. Everything felt dark and silent again, except for the rain. Forget I said anything. Sleep is overrated. Hello? I can't move. Do not don't what? See? Because that's already happening. Move. Can't do that either. WASD to move around. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's convenient. Find. You mean like an introspection thing? Sleep. Yeah, sure. I'll just take a nap in the deathbed. <laughs> Eat to interact. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Don't. You're not great at making your mind up. creepy intro, I think, to say the rest of the game is so silly and charming. That's it. No more dumplings before bed. <laughs> I disagree. Eat as many dumplings as you want. For the third time, Hank. Uh-oh. Better see what's up. I think Mummy Bear is uh, yelling at us. Let's turn the light off because, you know, save energy and all that. This is our little room and, uh, the rest of the house is kind of a bit run down looking. So let's go down this way. Oh, there's another room. You can actually put the walls up. You know, kind of like in The Sims. Oh, look who is it. Look who it is. I'm up. I'm, I'm up. Well, aren't you a bag of bones? Good to see hibernation hasn't kicked in yet. You can't call it that every time I get a little extra sleep. Besides... Besides what? I had a hard time sleeping. Too many thoughts. Well, that runs in the family. Have you tried thinking less? Gee, thanks, Mom. No, I'm... Where's Annie? Oh, in a room we will, probably. I should go wake him up. Alright, honey. 
this little tutorial, but I'm just gonna close out of it because I've already gone through it. I guess I shouldn't turn her lights off, that's kind of rude. So I think their room is over here. Hello. Good. Get out. Morning. Out. That's not very good morning view. There's nothing good about being up this early. Hmm, I don't smell any reasons to be up yet. What do you mean? I could smell him a mile away. Delightful, both of you. What's on the docket today, boss? Digging a new hole next to the other holes? Actually, mom said she might let us cross, cross the creek today and check under the bushes for mushrooms. I don't remember her saying that. What'd I tell you? I live for the hunt. How come we never get to do fun stuff anymore? Like a good old visit to the dumpster. We're not allowed past the fence anymore. Besides, there hasn't been any new garbage in months. Well, we won't find any garbage or shroomies in here. Let's go already. You're on his side now? It's morning, we're up. Let's go do stuff. They warn me betrayal never comes from your enemies. <sighs> Get cracking completed. Look how cute this game is. I really love this little cartoon art style. All the stuff happening in it, it reminds me of like a, a seek and find puzzle kind of thing. You know those? Like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, like a where's Waldo kind of thing. Like, I feel like I would be clicking on things and and all that like okay this is adventure mode there's like different kind of modes in the game because you know it's about like running a, a bed and breakfast of course we haven't gotten to that bit yet but we will we're in the thicket hello mama bear hey ma morning kids morning mrs m ma'am did you sleep all right as good as ever. Mm, good enough. Whatever that means. Good. Today is a very special day. I need you to go on the hunt. Alright, point me to the hole. Uh, to Black Moss. What? What? I know I said no going past the fence, but you've all been so good. And I need your help. The bush around the tombstone is getting a little thick, and the flowers aren't in bloom anymore. So I'll need you to go find me a bundle of alligator weed. I can't believe we get to leave this stinking place. Hmm. I mean, uh, adventure. Adventure! Anyway, Hank, you're in charge of this operation. Here, this is what I'm looking for. In fact, take the whole notebook so you don't forget. But don't lose it again. I won't. He will. He, he will. Alright, you three. And remember, you're getting that bundle and straight back. Not one step further than the swamp. Yes, ma. Well, look at that. It's like dark already. So we have a notebook. A collectible. There's a little um, arrow down here. Pointing us, you see it on the mini map too, showing us the direction we need to go. I quite like all the sound effects. I've adjusted the volume where I turned off music. There was music. Turn that off. I turned the footsteps off because I love that sound. And I kept the ambiance up high. It's really nice. The three friends found themselves farther than they'd ever gone before past the soothing meadows and the quiet streams of the thicket. Annie, the Corellian dog. Brave, but clumsy. Will, the poor Will. <laughs> like a whipper Will, get it? <laughs> Grumpy on the outside, but surprisingly even more so on the inside. It's like skipping past things. Weird. And Hank, the brown bear. Cheerful and curious. Maybe a little concerned about the promise he made back home. 
No mom, I'm definitely not gonna wander too far in an adventurer's fashion. I promise. <sighs> Traveling. Oh, here we are in Black Moss and it's so dark. Alright gang, spread, spread out. <laughs> I've even turned the, the brightness up, but in this one area, it is so dark. <laughs> this is like as bright as it gets. Let's move quickly through here then so that we can actually see what we're doing. Screech. What was that? What in the what? I heard it too. Mm, we better go. But we haven't found a thing for your mom yet. I'm with Hank. Let's see where that sound came from. That, that's not what I meant. We're going back. You know what? I bet it's a brand new garbage truck. Don't care. Mom said straight back. Let's go. She also said to get some gator weed. We haven't found any yet. Maybe there's some in the truck. No! Come back. I don't know if we have a decision here, but the quest tracker does say follow Will and Annie. <laughs> Makes me think that we need to follow Will and Annie. Go in this top corner. Okay. There we go. Timber crossing. Alright, let's go investigate the strange noise. There is a, a day-night cycle, so it won't always be this dark. What was this guy? Flightless birds don't know how good they have it. No one bothering them about not flying. I'm literally walking here. Okay, I got them the wrong way. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. Uh, the strange shark had a shiny, bouncy exterior and wore cool sunglasses. A little grey speaker box was strapped to his neck, blurting out nonsense. Reminded Hank of Will's TV. Next to it, a little car had a big advert for something called Pawn Voyage. Nothing weird about it at all. Hello. Be part of the next exciting experience. Enticing escape. Electrifying enterprise. I is someone in there? You there, fine gentleman in the uh, orange coat. I am pretty gentle. How would you like to own the next minor share in the next major maneuver? Well, I'm not into anything major, but I do like sharing. And I must reiterate, the share is very minor. What do we get to share again? Very, very minor. And how exactly are you talking? Bond Voyage is a multinational, multi-layered, multi-your friend corporation. What the? Offering secured tourist, touristry adjacent goods and services in exchange for valuable personal collateral. You lost me. Don't think you ever had me to begin with. Just bring in your old, useless, priceless family jewelry or expensive heirloom of choice and we'll give you a one to three day all-inclusive voucher for the vacation of a lifetime. Sorry, buddy. I don't have anything expensive or a heirloom. Pond Voyage is also on the lookout for brand new ventures and locations. Why does he keep saying it like that? For its millions of customers all around the valley, we will take any location or premises, no matter how rundown or decrepit, to offer our very human patrons the holidays they deserve. Wait, for humans? Flip? Here? I don't think anyone wants to live here. They're just tourists. I've seen this before. The humans wander around where Shark Boy tells them, then they stare at the trees and try to forget whatever they're running from. I read it in a magazine. Humans are whack. If you or a friend of a friend would like to offer your home or house to become a pawn, voyage, Premium premises. 
by restoring, repairing, redecorating, and bringing it up to a minimum standard, which frankly no one enforces, and drastically, barely, alter your monthly income. Simply press the green button under my gullet and a representative will get in touch. That's like my robot voice. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what he just said. If I heard that shark guide, I'm pretty sure he wants to give us money. Human grade, primo quality, shiny money. All I heard was that humans are coming back. Well, the money has to get here somehow. Humans? I've barely seen one in months. And that's more than enough. Hello? Don't you see what this means? With your oddly alarming strength, my foolproof understanding of all things, and Spoil Sport's cheerful attitude, I am cheerful. I just don't care for him at all. We stand to make a boatload of cash. I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what you just said. Human, back, money, give, good. I'm gonna be honest. It's anything other than good. Look, just go tell the shark we're in. We'll just use any broken down shed. They're all abandoned anyway. Shall we go? Shall we do it? Shall we tell the shark we're in? Oh, they're giving us another tutorial. Thank you. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. Let's press the green. Hello again! Congratulations! You have been automatically entered into a standard, legally binding agreement. By using your fingerprint identification data from the local police department. Welcome to the family error unknown pattern. Name suits you. You are now contractually obligated to provide your premium property details within the next three business days. Simply press the green button under my gullet when the premises are ready to accept our first guest. Alright, who knows anything about human houses? Well, I, I used to look at the pictures of the houses in the magazines we found. Can the humans maybe just live under a bus? No, I don't think that cuts it. They're fragile and get scared easily. Sounds familiar. I think I know a thing or two about making a place cozy. And I do not get scared that easily. Yeah, but I think we need help too. We should go find Tony. I really don't think we should bother him. He won't mind. Besides, I think he'll enjoy the company. I don't even know where he is these days. I doubt he ever left sawdust. Go see if you can sniff him out and tell him we need his master woodwork skills. That'll get him going. Alright, let's go find this Tony. By the way, we can zoom. Oh, there we go. Now we can see. Um, what's the bear's name? <laughs> For me, I forgot. I forgot the bear's name. There's only like three characters in this: Annie, Will, and how have I forgotten the name of the? Oh, I can't remember. I can't remember. This place is cute. I like it. Ah, looks like. Tony is a, a beaver, which is funny because they build dams, so oh, I'm gonna take this wood. You can just like take up stuff. Look at this, I can just take all this scrap metal and whatnot. Hello Tony, hello. I'm gonna zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. My god, a bear! It, it's just me, sir. Hank, his name's Hank. Hank, from the thicket. Goodness, you can talk? <sighs> I'm just yanking your tail, boy. How's your mother? Oh, she's great. Listen, I wanted to ask if you could help us. Oh, we've got a help? Why didn't you say so? What do you need? A stack of birch? Well, actually, my friends and I were wondering. An oak spoon? Oh, I think Margaret would love that. Has anyone taught you how to saw yet? No, there's this shark in Timber Crossing. Oh, oh, a redwood black for your fish? He says he's bringing humans to the valley. Oh. Well, we 
We haven't seen those in a while, have we? What can I possibly have to do with that? How much do you know about building things? Uh, for humans, I mean. Well, as you of course know, everything people make is perfect. When I took over the mill here, I found all these papers and schematics. It felt like stumbling upon artifacts. Never thought wood could take so many shapes. Look here. Elaborate contours, naughty frames, perfect angles. Clearly, only an incredible being could come up with all of this. Whoa. Can you make all that? Oh, anyone can. It's quite simple once you figure out how to read these things. Would you... Would you like me to teach you? Yes. Well, I, I was hoping you could help us fix up this old shack in Timber Crossing. Oh. How wonderful. We'll need my back saw and mallet and a ladder. Oh, and a couple of stacks of pine. Fetch those for me, will ya? The bright yellow ones. They're all yellow. <laughs> Another tutorial on materials. We need five times plywood planks for Tony. So let's go collect. Here we go, here's some wood. And that was enough. <sighs> Hi, Tony, I'm back. So, did you find all the wood? Yep. Yep. Got it right here. Grand. Perfect. You're doing such a great job. Uh, thanks. I just picked it off the ground. Amazing. Now, I'm headed to Timber Crossing. I'll see you there. Bye, Tony. <laughs> Bye. Okay, I think we need to head back. There's quite a bit of wood just kind of lying around. I'm not going to bother with it, though. We're going to head back. Love that crunch, 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 crunch. Oh, well, let's stop and just pick up this wood. We might as well. It's on the way. And we're probably going to need it, you know, eventually. Okay. Going back to Timber Crossing, which is like Animal Crossing. Because there's animals. I mean, not really. Hello, Tony. Yes, all of that is wonderful. And we're gonna use this old shed. Haven't seen a human claim it in years. Oh yes, this will do nicely. Look who decided to finally show up. As I was telling your friend here, the wood you brought ought to be enough. I'll get started on this. First you'll have to clean up the shed of all the garbage. I think I can do that. Okay, let's go in and clean up. Let's see, I picked this up. There's wood in it. What's this? Valuables. Now, I kind of know. It's kind of spoiler. I know that valuables is like the currency in this game. And it's basically just like junk. Because, <laughs> you know, they're, they're, they're bears and other animals. They don't have need for human currency. So, <laughs> Maybe they do later. Did you clean up the shed? Mm, yep. Great. Now, we'll have to use this old workbench. The what? Well, you can't hammer nail in thin air. You need some place to make it work. The table next to the tree, Hank. Grab some wood and put it back together while I tidy up the place. Okay, I think this is over here. This is the little wood bench, but first I'm gonna grab that. Get some more wood. Okay, so we just need three pine wood planks, and we've got 21, so we're good. And there we go, it's all done. And now we can use it to build rooms and craft furniture. How about that? Let's go tell Tony. Did you get that workbench fixed? Like brand spanking new. It's good. Enough. Oh, thanks. Excuse me. Oh, here he goes. He's gonna go clean up this old little shed. Dun, dun, dun. Ah, floor looks much better now. You have plenty of time to get better. Now, humans got over the stone, cold stone floors in Ichie a while ago. They'd much rather sleep on a clean, soft, springy surface. Here, this is none of those things, but it'll do. Pawn Voyage has new items available. Stock update, okay. 
you've unlocked a new crafting recipe for the shabby pallet bed. Oh, shabby. That's just the adjective you want for your bed. <laughs> go make one at the workbench. Alright, let's go make a bed. It's starting to get uh, dark again. Okay, um, craft the bench. Crafting. Shabby pallet bed. Takes one plywood sheet and one cotton sheet, and we've got plenty of those things. Plus five comfort and plus two decoration. It's a level one bedroom object. Made it. It's in our inventory right now. Were you able to make that bed? Yep, got it right here. I didn't think it could look worse than the schematics, but here we are. Oh, I, I mean, excellent. You're doing so well. Better than mine back home. That's just sad. Oh, hurry along, put it to good use. Make a bedroom, put the bed in it. Alright, so this is where we start to kind of construct our little B&B. &B. This is our first B&B. &B. It's just a dinky shed. Right, let's go to build room, comfort, and pick a bedroom. If you've ever played, uh, like, Two Point Hospital, Two Point Campus, actually the video playing Two Point Campus, like, very recently, it's kind of similar with the drag and drop room thing. I'm gonna put it in the top here. It needs to be at least two by three, which is very tiny. I'm gonna make it much bigger than that. Um, I think that's a good size. I need a door. Put the door down there. And let's add that bed that we just made. You can also, at any point, like, add a tile. Hold on, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so... Unfortunately, we won't be able to, like, if we wanted to add another room down here, it couldn't really be the same. Oh. Bit of thunder just, um... Uh, thunder just... I don't know. Uh, happened? It thundered? I wanna, I'm actually gonna make it just a little bit bigger. I think that's better. Okay. Uh, and that's our bedroom. It's not great, is it? <laughs> it's not amazing. Okay, let's exit that. I really like this, the building mode. I like how, it, how you do it. It's good. So, were you able to make that bedroom? Yes, sir. Stains and all. Brilliant. I almost prefer it to the dead tree I used to sleep in. You encourage weird. Alright, now this is the most important step. Humans always need to feel their full sense of superiority by having someone around that they can look down on. You sure seem to know a lot about that. So we're gonna need to make them feel welcome by putting down a little table at the front of the house that tells them where to go. And a little black book to keep the records for the shark. Ah yes, here's how you make it. Quite straightforward, really. Alright, we've learned a new uh, crafting recipe for the front desk. After we've made it, just put it down in the shed and then it's time to rake in the dough. <laughs> Let's go make it that front desk. I imagine we have everything we need. Crafting front desk recipe. Four pine wood planks. There we go. And, um, let's just take it out of our, oops, out of our inventory. And should we put it, put it up here? Yeah, like there. And there we go. Place the front desk. Yup, it's in there. That looks good. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're a natural, Hank. Such a fast learner. Well, it's not that I'm great. It, it took me forever and there's barely anything in there. Are they even gonna like it? You sure not to take a compliment. Oh, oh, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Go talk to Sharky Boy. Tell me got his joint ready. Okay, let's go back and find the shark. Oh, look. Some more trash. <sighs> Sorry, they call them valuables. <sighs> nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. Press the green button. Hello, we'd like to have some humans over. Congratulations, your premium property is now listed on the network. Oh, 
the time had come to unleash something both intriguing and unfortunate on Silver Valley. People, these dewy, mostly hairless creatures were a controversial topic in the neighborhood. Some thought they were godly beings, forging the world with their magic and machines, mostly because they left behind food and other stuff that animals liked. Others would throw a fit of rage, calling them unqualified harbingers of doom. A bit dramatic, if you asked Hank. All he knew for sure was that his mom always said, Keep your distance. So much for that. <laughs> you can now start earning hardly life-changing income. Simply accept your first guess through the front desk and give them the experience of a lifetime. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go accept a guest and they're gonna stay at our barren breakfast. <laughs> it's more like it's just a bed. There's just not really breakfast right now, is there? Okay, we're gonna go stand at the desk. Let's put the walls up. Uh, dinky shed. I guess we can have more than one resort, which is really awesome. We just have one bedroom. Guest reviews. Kevin Hardy. Kevin Hardy wants to stay for one day, I take it. Okay, Kevin's been assigned to the only bedroom that we have. Awesome. And that's that. I think Kevin is coming tomorrow. I'm not totally sure. Uh, let's go tell the shark. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. Press the green button. I got a human on the way. Congratulations, you are now on your way to financial independence. In actuality, you are much, much closer to financial ruin. But you have a head start, and that probably means something. In any case, make sure you keep up with guest demands, as they tend to become pickier and pickier. Sadly, an issue that technology hasn't been able to solve yet. Okay. I think he's got another quest for us. I think that's the little exclamation mark. Uh oh, alert, alert. It looks like your premium property is lacking in the old P department. Hey, I don't prestige. Wow. That means that the decoration levels of your property aren't up to our low, low standards. It is ugly. <laughs> but it looks just like my room. In order to attract more lucrative guests, just make your properties more appealing by adding non-essential, ornamental, furniture, and knickknacks. Guests go crazy for knickknacks. <laughs> What an uncomfortable sentence. <laughs> Raise the property prestige level to a satisfying degree before returning. <laughs> so yeah, we want to add decor and stuff to make it look a lot nicer. It's kind of dark, it's hard to see. Oh, there's a little... Something's pointing us over here. Who is this? Got some... I feel like I'm kind of maybe stealing from this guy, but... Hello there. Took. Whoa there, big fella. <laughs> Where did you come from? I live here. Where did you come from? Alright, enough with the questions. Uh, what are you after? That sure sounds like a question. Trash? Junk? Muck? I'm looking for something humans like. Uh, something that would make them feel more n distinguished. Slop? Scrap? Rubble? No, I need something exquisite. That's where you're wrong, my colossal companion. I got what you need. You stumbled upon the most handsome curator of crap this side of the valley. <laughs> there isn't one thing these animals throw away that I can't flip back at them. Great. Um, let me just have a look in that dumpster. <laughs> I'm not so fast, Bozo. How do I know I can trust you? My, um... Authoritative height? Be that as it may, we don't trade just anyone off the street. My head would be in a gutter before noon. Although I do spend a lot of time down there. But, 
You gotta be approved before I can sell you anything. I'll tell you what, there's a bus depot across the road. I can smell the stinky tuna from here. Find me a snack, then we can talk. Let's go find Took a, a snack. I, I just can't help but think, like, fool of a Took, I don't know. <laughs> oh, look, a human, a, a human. Oliver, well, hello there, bud. Aren't you a good-looking one? Haven't seen your legs around my buses before. Uh, should we say, I would argue you're the rare side, or I like your hair. Let's be complimentary. I like your hair. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Soft bear noises. Oh, what a good-looking bud you are. I'm Oliver. I run the buses here, if it wasn't ev evident. <laughs> Look at me, of course it's not evident. Bears don't take the bus. Do you? you take the bus? Uh, I've been in a broken down tractor before. Does that count? Mild bear noises. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> bear noises. I don't see why you couldn't either. You know what? Do you think you could do me a solid, bud? I've got this letter I've been dying to send, but I can't just leave my buses. And there's not been any post since, well, in years. You probably know these places better than I do. Do you think you could find your way to Sawdust? That's not fair. That's the place that's like right to the left where Tony was. And give this to Beanie for me? I don't know who Beanie is. I don't think we saw Beanie. Alright, we got a scratched envelope. She usually hangs around the fire watch tower. Oh, is Beanie a fire watch person? Cool. Alrighty, I think we can do that. No problem. Is there stuff to collect here? I think this is the sandwich. Oh, but it's Oliver's lunch. Oh, I feel quite mean. I have just stolen his lunch from this very, very nice man that we just met. And I've already stolen from him. That's so awful. And I'm gonna give it to the sketchy raccoon. So, did you find any grub? Uh, yeah, right here. Stale bread. Crunchy cheese, weak old mustard. That's all I could find. Mm. Just like mom used to make. All right, you brutish charmer. I'll let you buy my special selection of swill. <laughs> and here, I'll even let you have this one for free. But anything else comes at a price, and I don't mean none of that stinking human stuff. Tooks garbage has new items available. Okay. I mean, real valuables. So yeah, valuables, which are trash, <laughs> human trash, are animal valuables. Uh, so let's see. Let's see what, I guess, Duke's got for sale. They've got a cardboard box, old drawers, a janky floor mirror, a small nightstand, scuffed cupboard cabinet, a small oil light, a welcome mat, a small potted prayer plant, flower vase, an oil wall lamp, a small geometric rug, and a small bear painting. What was that thingy noise? Let's get the welcome out. Definitely want that. I want the plant. I want the flower. I want the rug. I want the bear painting. I want the oil light. I'm gonna get two nightstands. Let's get the mirror, and let's get the old drawers. I can always come back for more stuff. Eh, we'll get that too, why not? I just don't want that cardboard box, I think. I'm gonna go put it in the room. Oh shoot, the, our guy's already here. That might, that might have been him checking in. Okay, we have to quickly decorate his room uh, before he notices that there was no, I'll put it there, that there was nothing in his room. Uh, put it like that. Let's put the nightstands next to the bed. And do the mirror, like on the wall here. Put the drawers up there. I gotta put the walls up so I can see. Oh, that's too far. Let's put this cute little bear painting up, up, up like there. Um... How about the flower vase and the potted plant? 
Look how look how cute this place looks. It looked like trash a minute ago, and now it looks like slightly, slightly n not trash. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look great. Let's be real, but um, it's cute. It's charming, and they've reached prestige level two, which is what um Finn the shark actually asked us to do. I want to go talk to this guy. Oh, oh no, he's scared. He ran away from us. Okay, I take it that we're not supposed to interact with our guests as they can't know that it's actually a a bear running the bear and breakfast. <laughs> He's gonna be like, this was not the room wasn't this nice last time I was in it. <laughs> Property prestige is the principal proof of a prominent plot. It looks a little better now, I think. Congratulations! You've increased your new property's value by a quarter of a percent. Wow! That is 278% more than the guests receive on their average trip. Oh, okay. <laughs> more prestigious properties will earn better results, so keep up the work. <laughs> Don't want to say good work, huh? Stay away from our guest. I'm gonna go see if I can find Beanie. Oh, what about this outhouse? Okay, we're gonna need to upgrade the outhouse with some loggers tools. We don't have that. Ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. How come, you know, Annie and Will, how come they're not scaring our guests, but I'm scary? That, that seems very, very rude. Alright, where could Beanie be? There's no arrow on the map. So I'll just kind of wander around and see. I don't actually know because I didn't do this in my other game. I did the quest, but I didn't uh, get further than this. Oh, I'm gonna guess this is Beanie. Hiya, Beanie. Oh, Sabine. Aww. Sabine, show for Sabine. Hello. I don't believe we've met yet. How'd you end up here? With my feeties. Burbling and bear noises. Okay, the physical activity is always a great idea. Wait, you can understand me? I've been around these bits for a while. I think I get the gist of what you're saying. Oh yeah? What am I saying right now? Actual, literal bear noises. Okay, I can't. I cannot do bear noises. I'm so sorry. That was pretty unintelligible. I guess I could use the practice. No, I feel bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just yoking ya. What's a big softy like you doing all the way here? I'm looking for a beanie. I have something for her. That's, uh, just a nickname. I'm Beanie. Or Sabine, if you're my mom. But I like... Um, Beanie. No one calls me that anymore. Who told you that? Oliver, the bus person. He gave me a letter for you. Oh, Ollie. Such a sweetheart. No wonder he trusted you. Let me see it. I can't believe you found it. <gasps> Ollie, you weasel. Where was it? Did he tell you? He's not a weasel, though I understand the resemblance. No, no, he found the last page of our atlas. We made this ages ago. He had barely gotten his driver license, and I had a much smaller hat. We mapped out the whole valley, figured out where to put stations for his buses and everything. I thought this burned up in a fire. I didn't know the fire was that big. Listen, I know you came all this way, but could you get this thing back to him? But he doesn't even know I have the rest. Oh, we got a compass. Here, you can have this. It'll help you find your way back faster. Okay, I'm gonna read this one because I haven't read it. We've unlocked the compass, which unlocks the area map view. The area map can be accessed by pressing that. And it shows all the important markers and landmarks in the vicinity. Let's look at it. Alright, so... I can't zoom. 
Sabine, entrance, exit, no access, bus stop, passage. Alright. Interesting. I wonder if I can go in the, up the fire watchtower. I can! Whoa, check this out. Uh, I'm not sure that it's supposed to look like this. <laughs> I feel bad, I'm kind of just snooping around. Snooping as usual. Alright, anyway, let's return. First, I'm gonna pick up some more wood. Is it just me, or does this look like a tunnel? It is a tunnel. Cool. Alright, that's enough. I can head back now. So that's an old mill that Tony was staying in. What's this? Hmm, why not simply punch the trees? <laughs> Hank is so cute. I like Hank a lot. He's a very sweet, innocent bear. Man, this respawns like very quickly. That's the third time I've looted wood from that one spot. <laughs> okay, back in Timber Crossing. I think that we've got a quest from our friend Finn. Congratulations! It seems that your first property is coming along nicely. Now that you are earning the equivalent tips of a door-to-door -door, door salesman, you are presented with an opportunity. In order to achieve the prestigious Pond Voyage pedigree, you have to bring the property in this area up to our standards. Mm. Complete this day for at least one plus more guests in Timber Crossing. I think we can do that. That sounds simple enough. Hey, Ollie, 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 Ollie. I went and talked to Sabine for you. Back already, bud. Did you find Beanie? Did you give her the letter? Uh, <laughs> she called you a weasel. <laughs> like, he can't understand it. So, I'm sorry. This guy just take a picture of us. <laughs> yes, I did. Affirming their noises. <laughs> oh, you're the man, bud. Or bear. So, what'd she say? She gave me this for you. Oh wow. Oh wow. Bud. She found the rest of it. That's incredible, Bud. Oh, drawing all of this out with her was the most fun I ever had. Sort of driving a bus, of course. Does he even drive buses these days? Because <laughs> doesn't look like it. Of course. Look, there's sawdust and high lake. And look. This is where we are. Oh, you probably don't even know what I'm on about. This valley is huge. There's places the buses couldn't even reach. Hmm. I know. It's wild. <laughs> he's back. He's taking more pictures of us. <sighs> Listen, I've been here for a while. Just me and my buses. But it just don't feel right for us to sit on our tires like that, you know? No one's really needed me or my buses in a long time. See, there we go. But with all the new folks starting to visit and all, well, it's just it's just one man all over. I think you should have this. And look, see where these old bus stops are? If you manage to fix these up like you did with the old storage shed, I'll give you bus rides for free. Heck, I don't think bears have any pockets for money anyway. We got two bus signs. I know we need those to unlock the bus station, so I think we get to choose the bus stops that we want to... Oh my god, an atlas that we get to upgrade. Look, the first one is right there next to the shed. How about it? Uh, unlock the atlas. Yeah, we already looked at that. Alright, let's go. We have the pinewood planks, the copper plates, the iron nails, and the bus sign. And it unlocks fast travel, so let's fix it up. There we go. Now we can fast travel in the game. How neat. Do we go back and tell him? We're gonna need to do another one though, because as of right now, I take it we can't really fast travel anywhere. Timber Crossing, that's where we are. Then we went through Black Moss and our home's in the thicket. I, I'm i just now, you know, it's occurred to me that our mother <laughs> told us like two days ago to go 
get some alligator weed or whatever and we never did that and not only that we've been here building a bed and breakfast for the last two days the mother must be so worried let's go talk to oliver finish this quest and then i'm gonna go back home <laughs> did you get the bus stop fixed approving their noises <laughs> that's great news bud <laughs> oh oliver seemed like a friendly easygoing softy one of the few people that stuck around the valley. Oh, I didn't get to read that. The skip for it past. Took, on the other hand, something. Strange pair that lived in peculiar harmony. <laughs> Took's always stealing his sandwiches. <laughs> I can smell the gasoline burning through my nose hairs already. <laughs> Listen, any time you come across one of these stops, just give it a wash, slap a new sign on it, and boom, I'll drive you there any time. Oliver's toolbox. Cool, so it's another place I take it where we can buy these bus stop signs and all that. Neato. Alright, I'm gonna head back home. It's, oh look at that, it's on day four already. Mama Bear is not going to be happy with us. It's gonna be so dark, I can't see a thing. <laughs> curious to see black moss during the day. What is that down there? It's like, as much water. I can't get down there. I really have to come back during the day. It's like a hobbit hill, really. It's so cute, you know? Poor mama bear. Must be so worried. Her son and friends have just <laughs> laughed at too. In the laundry, I take it. They left them open a business. Large bramble heap. Oh, with loggers' tools, we could clear the way. Oh, and maybe that. Oh, here's Mama Bear. Hello. I see you running. She's not even. She's not even bothered. <laughs> the day I would feel useful as a parent again. I can help you up with your deposit. What is happening? She's. So she's not even concerned about the fact that I, you know, left? Hmm. I feel like that's gotta lead somewhere eventually, right? Well, anyway, I think that this is probably a good place to end the video. There's a link, of course, to Bear and Breakfast in the description so that you can check it out yourself. I don't know what I was expecting from the gameplay. It wasn't really this, though. I thought it would be more of a management simulation game, like, um, like the two-point games. Or any kind of, like, tycoon sim game. Um, I didn't think there would be, like, these quests and these characters and this like linear storyline um, so yeah that surprises me quite a bit but in a good way like I really I really like it I can definitely see myself having a lot of fun I love the whole building up the rooms and decorating them and then picking the people that can come stay and you can like decorate the rooms different ways apparently and um, then assign a guest who's looking for a particular kind of stay, kind of room. You can put them in a certain room. So there's a lot of like little bits of customization like that, it seems. Um, very cute. So far, it's two bear paws up from me. And I hope you liked it too. I hope you liked the silly voices that I did. I always have fun doing silly voices and somehow you guys like them so the sun's coming up now but it's time for you to go to bed let me say a very very good night to all of you I hope you sleep well tonight and have a peaceful peaceful sleep with good dreams and I'll see you very soon 
in another video. Goodbye, my friends. Good night to you all.